A CBC investigation has been looking at the money the federal government spent during the early days of the pandemic. The Canadian Emergency Wage Subsidy helped business owners and their employees who are struggling financially. Our news team has been tracking those funds and in particular looking at doctors who receive them. The CBC's Valérie Ouellette is on this story. So what did you find? Well, we wanted to put numbers on just how difficult this pandemic has been for doctors from a financial perspective. So we dug into the data, specifically fee-for-service billings for 58,000 physicians across the country in six different provinces. And what we did is we compared fiscal years retroactively from 2016 all the way to March 2021. And here's what we found. So essentially, we looked at how much physician billings had dropped and the amount of physicians that had seen their billings drop by 20% or more, because that's enough for you to see a really big dent in your billings. And we found that in 2020, during the first year of the pandemic, one in four of the Canadian physicians that we looked into had seen their billings drop dramatically. And so that is definitely a trend. From seven the previous year to 25, we then turned to experts to see what they had to say about it. Here's one of them. People need to remember right back at the beginning of the pandemic, things were really shut down hard. And so, uh, for example, I'm in family medicine. Our visits dropped just like a rock down to, you know, maybe 10, 20 percent of the people we would normally see. It slowly climbed back up. By the time we got to the summer, we were getting close to normal numbers uh, by switching to virtual and all of those sorts of things. Um, but but that wasn't easy to do. There was no PPE. Uh, people were told to stay home. They were told not to go see the doctor. Uh, and that lasted pretty much through until early summer. So once we'd looked at all doctors, we wanted to know what happened specifically to Canada's highest billing doctors, the top 100 highest billing doctors in each of these provinces. And what we found is that although they did see their billings decrease, they were significantly less affected than this bigger group of all doctors. You can see right here, 7% of all these top doctors saw their billings drop by 20% or more compared to 25% of all doctors. So how how could that be? We also dug deeper into the data and found that more than 100 of these doctors had actually had their best financial year in recent history during the first year of the pandemic. And then we wondered what could have contributed to this great year that they were having and found that one in four of these top billers had benefited from emergency COVID funding for business owners. So that is definitely a trend and could means something for these doctors as to why they didn't suffer as much as the other group. Now, Valérie, you reached out to some of those top doctors. What did they say? We reached out to about a dozen doctors who both had received government emergency funding and had a really good financial year. Two of them got back to us. One is a Manitoba ophthalmologist, and he provided us with a little bit more context. He explained that in the first few months of the pandemic, everything was locked down, and he used the funding to help and support his 10 employees. He runs a big clinic in Winnipeg, and he told us that, you know, after the first initial months, once the province reopened, well, then they were swamped by patients and had to work over time to catch up with the backlog. He also told us that after he realized he was going to have one, his, one of his best ever financial year, he brought in, he billed $3 million in 2020. He decided to fully refund his government funding. And another doctor we spoke with said he did the same. So now the question becomes, are other doctors reimbursing? Are they considering it? And should they? Thanks for this. Some interesting stuff. That is the CBC's Valerie Wallette in Toronto.